Well, here we are again today. Oh no, you don't want to come up here, little doggy. What have I got here? Oh no. Oh, he runs away when he sees this. I don't know why. This is the $5. $5 my brother paid for this. This uh, little trumpet was $5. Uh, when he originally got it, uh, the horn part was all bent up. Um, it was separated here and down here. Both of these he resoldered, got these back on there. Uh, the center valve was stuck. Uh, it's not now. Let's see if you can get a good picture of it. Anyway, and uh, yeah, so it's uh, pretty much in, in uh, pretty nice shape now. I mean, it was, you know, it was uh, really nice, uh, you know, brass coated. Uh, it is made by, it says I'm a horn here, I know. I've seen it. It's got to be in the right spot. Come on, you. I know you're there. There you are. Uh, Roy, you see, Roy Benson. This is a Roy Benstru Benson wind instrument. Uh, yeah, TR-202. So, yeah, it's uh, American made. It is not made in China. <laughs> this is U.S. made. Um, I really don't know how old it is. It does have a serial number on it. I can see it. It's in the center part here. But, yeah, for uh, <laughs> the reason it was not doing anything is there was a couple of some rocks that poured out of the front end. Uh, the slide part down in here, or actually up here, actually, uh, it had some little a long little, uh, oh, a Nerf uh, little thing that was stuck in there. Something from a, a Nerf gun or something. And that was shoved down here. So he was getting no air at all out of this thing at all. So it was not doing a thing. It was, uh, if it did anything at all, you could barely get a squeak out of it. But of course, it does seem to want to work now. So. At least for the money, you know, it wasn't too bad of a deal, I guess. But uh, I don't play these things. Uh, if you if you know how to use these things, I mean, it's, it's they're not that hard to use. You just have to have the lip for it, I guess. That's the main thing. So. Kind of sound on on my <laughs> video, <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't doing a thing before. So from nothing, uh, like I said, this middle valve was stuck. Completely. I mean, what he actually had to do was go in there with emery cloth, emery paper, and work on that. But, uh, yeah, as I said, I don't know how to play, play the thing. I, uh, I guess I do have a lip where I can make sounds out of it. Uh, I'd probably do better with a bugle, probably. <laughs> but, anyhow, that's all. I know. The dog ran away. He's still hiding. Uh, normally, when you play this thing, he barks. So, luckily, he hasn't barked yet. Uh... So, yeah, I just want to show you what he did for five, five bucks, and he got it all fixed up. Uh, there's only, like, one little tiny dent up here in the top now. Uh, I really don't know how that's coming out on camera, but I'm hoping you guys see all that. But, uh, yeah. 
for five bucks you can't go wrong uh, if you look on eBay you'll find these for sale from uh, anything from 200 to uh, 450 bucks so I think you made a pretty good deal uh, so anyhow that's all I want to show you today I do have another radio coming I don't know why I do this I bought another one I bought uh, this time I bought a um, Ward's airline radio from uh, the 1950s so it's a tube radio so that'll be coming uh, I think I said um, Monday I think is when it's supposed to be here so so be looking for that one uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do this weekend I have no idea so everybody else have a good weekend and we'll talk to you guys later